Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss the example for the partial fraction. Step number one, check whether it's proper fraction or not. So by referring to the numerator, it is a, it is a power two. By referring to the denominator, it is also power two. So meaning that it is a improper fraction. So the following step is to uh, simplify or by using the long division to have a proper fraction. So here we have x squared plus 2x minus 15. It is a divisor. So substitute the px. Okay. So now we have to simplify the situation by putting 1. So x squared plus 2x minus 15. So we will have 5x plus 1. So it would be 1 plus 5x plus 1 over x minus 3 x plus 5. So now we already have our proper fraction. So we are going to separate this part or we can say decomposite that part into a partial fraction. So step number two, check. Is it possible to factorize? So my answer is yes. It is already a simplest form. So the third step is to determine the types of factor in the denominator. So for this case, we have two factor. The first one will be a x minus 3, which is a linear factor. x plus 5 is also a linear factor. The fourth step would be the basic structure for 5x plus 1 over x minus 3, x plus 5. So decomposite it, x minus 3 plus x plus 5. So for x minus 3, which is a linear, the numerator will be a constant, followed by a constant as well for the factor x plus 5. So the next step, I'm going to multiply both sides with the denominator. And I will have 5x plus 1 equals to a x plus 5 plus b x minus 3. So in this part, I'm going to use the substitution method to find the value a and b. So in order to find the value a and b, I'm going to make sure that the value becomes zeros. So in order to find a, I'm going to refer b. So I would substitute the value 3 in order to make sure that the b become 0. The second step will be substituting the value negative 5 so that the a become 0. So after I substitute the value, I will have 16 for the left hand side. Okay, so negative 24 when I substitute the value negative 5. So now I'm back to the value a. So if I substitute, I will have 8a so my a will be equals to 2. So if I substitute the value negative 5, I would have negative 8b. So my b will be equals to 3. So lastly, I have to substitute the value a and b into the partial fractions. So my final answer will be x squared plus 7x minus 14 over x minus 3, x plus 5, which is equals to 1 plus 2 over x minus 3 plus 3 over x plus 5. So this is a process of decomposition. And so here we are. And thanks for watching.